Blessings and a merry meet to you, my enchanted and magical angels. Willow here. So what adventures does Willow's Magical Adventures have for you today? Are we going to stay in the comforts of my home and my den, doing magical practice, cooking, crafting, and all those exciting things? Or are we going to venture into the world? And are we going to go to the fairy realm woodlands, a place of magical, mystical and enchanted energies. Are we going to connect with the Fae, with the elementals and with all of the energies of nature? Or are we going to stay at home and do it from the comforts of the den? Let's see. Follow me, Willow, and let's go on our new adventures. Enjoy. Whee! Merry meet and welcome my magical and enchanted angels. So on today's series, we are going to be looking at some enchanted garden evidence. For anybody new and coming to this channel, I am Willow and I am a spiritual practitioner that works as a witch and a shaman in practicing. I also am an investigator of all things strange and unknown, meaning that I like to prove and disprove the evidence of all things in this world, which does include other energies and beings. So if you are somebody that's into these sorts of footage and work, and you like the works of witches, and of shaman and people connected to nature and to the natural world then this definitely is a, one of the channels to come to along with a lot of the other channels that come and associate with my channel so in today's footage i will be showing you evidence that i have been able to get from the very comforts of my home and in my enchanted and magical garden of the Fae, known as Fay Valley. Fay Valley was built by hand by me and some of my loved ones. The construction has become really beautiful. There's lots of flowers and lots of beautiful things. The difference between my enchanted garden and other gardens made by other spiritual practitioners is that I did do a ritual and an opening to the Fae folk and the Fae realm and to my energies that I work with, whether this is energies of nature and spirit. All are welcome if good energy. So the whole point for my enchanted garden was a place for me to be able to be in the very comforts of nature and Mother Earth itself. As somebody with difficulty and illnesses, sometimes it's difficult to get out to the places I love most. So I decided to bring it to the very comforts of my home and make my garden into a magical and enchanted place. Wanting to bring my energies that I work with and have very close relationships with. One of them being the Fae and being the spirits, dragons and other creatures. This garden is very much opened to all of those energies and including any of my guardians and guides and energies that I am very closely connected to. So through only just doing this to be able to be connected myself, do my meditations and to be able to open it to other people so they can use it for spiritual significance. I'd also wanted the garden to be represented to my faith folk and to my spirits. The garden is dedicated to the Fae, but it has become an agreement between me and them 
that the other energies can be in that realm as well. So my garden is now part of the Fay realm and a lot of my footage and evidence is from my garden. I like to place my camera and record in the evenings to see if I can catch anything suspicious and unusual and out of this world. And I must say that I've been getting some very good evidence. The first video and the first part, as I will be doing do two parts to this video, this is the first chapter and the next chapter will be out on Tuesday. But in this one, we are looking at the video to the opening and dedication ceremony that I had done towards the Fae and my spirits and to my fam and community. Throughout this dedication stream, you see many bits of activity, anomalies, lights, energies that I believe to be the Fae as well as spirit, orbs and all sorts of strange lights and things going on. So I decided that I was going to do the videos this way. I have tried to be able to go through the videos separately and get evidence from all of it. But I found that it was very time consuming and very difficult to do because of the energies that they are. So what's better to do than just to show the film film and I use my cursor and myself to explain the energies and what you're seeing in the videos. And then I leave it to you to decide on what you think. So I do hope that you enjoy this video. And I'm just about to bring up the first video, which is the dedication video. Then there will be a 39 minute one that will come after that, which is another video that is just purely on the evidence of catching the Fae and spirits in my garden. And again, activity of similar situations explained just now do go on in this video. I will at times first stop on certain areas of the videos and show you it in normal speed and then slow it down so that you can see it both ways and you can see more detail in the slower version of the video because the energies that are being caught are not moving as quickly. So I hope that you enjoy and let's get on to this adventure. Whee! So let's start the video. So obviously, as I said, the first one is the dedication. The beginning, I just explained a little bit about the dedication and what I'm going to be doing. Then it does go into me actually doing the full dedication in a night vision mode, which makes it much easier to be able to see the energy and things around. I will say that throughout the video, I am using incense sticks in this video. So you will see smoke and things moving around at times. But a lot of paranormal investigators and researchers say that along like water, smoke is a very good device to use throughout investigations or anything like this because it's easier to be able to see the energies moving through it. So let's see what you think and what you think you see, guys. I know that there are many people that come to my chats that are spiritually open and see things. So it'll be very interesting to see the clips, the timestamps, and the pictures that people may take of it. Enjoy, guys. Greetings, everybody. Willow here. So, not here, outside. Tonight is the night where we're going to be dedicating the playhouses over to the fairy realm and opening my enchanted garden so that you guys and myself can use it freely but in positive good and uplifting energy so today i'm doing an opening session where i'm opening my community and plan to the garden so that they can use it for various health guidance spiritual guidance and other things and also able to communicate with such things as deities the fairies themselves so obviously the dedication is me dedicating myself to the fairies which i've been part of for many many years and i decided to make a fairy garden 
and opening it to them and to the energy of who I am to them as well and dedicating myself fully to protect and to bring vision and opening to who they are. So today I will be doing a dedication ceremony to do with me and them and an opening ceremony to do with all of the community of YouTube and Facebook that follow me, my fan. So as you can see here, we have got my altar table, all lit, not lit, but um, set up. So I've got a bowl of water I've got offerings, and I've got their offerings, and I've also got the invitations to them to invite their other fairy friends and energies to come to the gardens and to the fairy ma manor when it is here. And it is ready to come. Little rule things, just explaining what's what between them and between us and myself. Also, I've got some little offering bits in a bag here as well, some little flowers. I've got some real food, which is fruit. So I've done that as well. Obviously, I've got a sage and a sandalwood incense stick and a feather, which I will be using for the threshold closing which is going to be done with this and using my beautiful misty and my mother earth stick here so we're going to be doing that obviously i've got my doorway candle which is going to be the doorway to open the threshold and also the doorway to open to the fay realm and then i've got a normal candle just for protection of the area and everything else what we're doing so obviously this bag here is the herbs and stuff that i'm going to be using to put into the cauldron in dedication to the Fey realm and to the ritual that I'm doing. Their own little cauldron. This is for the fairies. And then I've got a little bag that's going to hang up here along with their king, which is here. And we've got a bag which will be hanging in my bedroom and my king will be hanging in my bedroom. I decided to put my pentagram cross with bells on it, on this fence bit. It looks really beautiful there. As I said, offerings of drink. There is a bag that's got offerings and there will be more of that being added and I know they can hear me saying all of this. Um, and I've also got real food, like I said, I've got some fruit in there for them, some berries and stuff. So very, very interesting. Obviously down here, I've got my grimoire, uh, my shadow book. This book has got the opening ceremony script that I've done for you guys and obviously for myself. And then it's got my dedication script as well. I will be doing my own prayer from the top of my head and blessing towards the Fae. The reason that I am well. showing the video so in full I'm length really is because there is so much activity tonight. that goes out throughout it's it. it. It's hard to, to be able to catch up to it and do what I'm supposed to be doing. So it's so much easier to do it this way, guys. So just bear with me. I decided that I would go live and I would do it. And I know that a lot of you guys wanted that as well. So I'm just going to first like this one candle because then I can light this one when I need it and I can also burn the charcoal so that I can put the herbs and stuff in but first what I would like to do is pick up their bag and my bag and put that on there already because they can. I'm not going to move the key or anything to put it on there yet because I need to do the little open semi where I hold them. But these are just like little symbols between me and the fame just to show our connection and also to have that connection with you guys as well. Obviously, like I said, our bag will come back in and I'll do that. I've got their one point. And I've got a little note there as well, which I will like read to you a little bit later. All of the area is done up really beautifully. Shortly, we will be going into the black and white mode, which is the night the vision, floor. and you will be able to see so I'm everything show you a lot better. So, 
this is a beautiful little table thing that I'm going to bring out every time I want to come out. But this has been first used. This is the first time today. They've got their fairy wish flowers that they love. They've got two of them. So they've got one this side and one over this side with a beautiful little cute message. And obviously you've got all of the herbs and all of the flowers and all of that area is all ready and dedicated, ready for the fairy houses, which my beautiful fairy houses are situated here, waiting to be put into their place. Oh, it's so exciting. So I am going to be putting some music on so that we've got some music because we want to bring that ambience. I'm going to sit here for a couple of minutes, manifest on their energy and call them in my own way through my head and hopefully they're going to start turning up. I know that they are aware of what's going on. So let's just see and wait. I will, I will talk throughout this video and use my cursor to show you the areas where the energies are moving and where things can be seen and obviously doing the slowed down version which will be at 025 each time I do it. at this moment in time i am just doing the dedication and opening to the energies that i am asking to come forward and i am sorting out the fairy altar and lighting everything up ready to do the threshold and the opening and dedication ceremony Energy, 
own life. And I ask you to pray for us now. And I ask that you be with me with anything that I want to bring to God's help for us, which is going to put us in touch with you around my hands. I will use the doorway title and the threshold oil to do so. How we sound the word and say that will be said with our friends to bring that blessing out to you. To pull forth through your faith, and I invite you to your home. In this table, we have invites for you to give word to your other close friends, your other family, and your other friends. I ask that you only bring forward energies of you that are positive, uplifting, and good. For we are protected and fresh faces, and we are enchanted by your energy, by the energies of the faith that are already in us. So I ask you to come forth and put word out to others, and let them know that there is, when they van, a place of sanctuary, safety, and goodness, and I ask them to come forward, and I also have your offerings and greetings, and I invite you to come forward. I'm going to do for a little bit, guys. Try and turn this round, right? And we're going to see if we can get. Anything behind me as well. We do want to do that. So we're going to go into like a little darkish sort of mode. That's it. And we're going to have a little flash. Still on 100%. So that's good. Then we'll bring that out. Now start looking to, towards the directions. You will start to I see things see chat, move. Guys. So I have to focus on what I'm doing. There are slight movements, movement movements coming over in this area. Even though there is, you'll see movements to these areas and around me here. So I'll try to point out the most prominent ones that stand out. There was one just come out from me twice. One that went that way about here. Slow it down to 0.25. And start. Four, four, two, nine, five, We'll just go from this section because we can just move it slower and you'll be able to see. As you see, that there are some strange movements going on over here. Even though you can't see the smoke, you clearly see the silhouettes of some inside smoke. I'm going to turn the sound of the thing off as well. So it's moving for just this time. So I am sitting down now and I'm talking about the energy and what I'm feeling around me. And if you look into this direction here of me, you will see some energy that comes up here and comes out here and a light that flashes. Clearly at the moment, you can see the light flashing from the candle. You can see that the light coming from the candle is not affecting anything on me. You see something go up in the air there. Hmm. 
looking in this direction you'll see it you'll see it what looks like a flash see something forming to come out you can see something moving over here there it goes up there and then you'll see something else comes out here and that's right from me so now I'm just gonna go and put back to normal speed to carry that on so you can understand what is being done see something come down here there as I was saying before I will Safely out moving. As I was saying for now slowing down you see a lot more you see a light or something that's up here you'll see a light in a minute that comes up in this direction see something just flash there First thing that I'm going to do is obviously I'd gone round earlier and done the threshold area. So what I'm going to do is just here, I'm going to put this threshold jar. In this part, you will see some energy that come up from around these areas and around me. And this is going more so the threshold that I've already put around okay so that's here and I'm gonna hold the door by the hand it's in front and I'm gonna stand so I want to just go feet. back slightly to that three times into the ground moving it done the threshold here. area so what I'm gonna do is just here I'm going to put this threshold. Look in this direction, you see a light anomaly come out and a flash, and then you'll see some more bits.
you see the energy forming and then just disappearing you see something else just over here something comes down here look in these directions you'll see stuff start appearing i do believe there's some sort of doorway bit here that they're coming in and out of there guys look at that that is just truly amazing let me just slightly zip that back you see it as clear as day it's got wings you can see it come across and over here There you go. See? Right there. And then another energy going across here. There is a lot of activity that's going on in this section. Just let me put you back to normal speed, guys. It's down there, you can see that, but you don't need to see what I'm doing because you're gonna you need to see me actually with the candles and stuff. Um, that, that down down there, I believe, was a moth, and you can tell that it's a moth by the way it looks. Nothing someone coming up out of the fence bit there. So across here. There's a very strange light phenomena that comes across this fence area as well at some point. Let's go back slightly. See the energies coming up out. Something up here. Something moving across here, as you just see. I'll just put that back slightly so you see it again. It goes across and up. It just comes up and over. There it is, there, yep. Yeah. It goes up. You see something else over here. Now you can see what I meant by trying to get it all individual. It would have been too much. There's so much going on in the video. And a lot of it you miss if you don't slow it down. Because they are really quick. The they are. And some of the spirits definitely as well. Now I get some really interesting activity that starts up around this time. I'm going to keep this 
bit in slow mode just so we can see what's going on. I know it's a lot slower and probably takes longer to come through, but I just think to get the full effect of it, you need to really see it in the slow motion. There's a strange anomaly. I'm not sure if that is a bug or not, but it is strange. Obviously, the smoke is from the incense. stick just a little bit of music on so that it's not silent you can see a lot of energy as well as the smoke moving around like i said looking in between the smoke as well sometimes you can see some of the anomalies that are moving across and you can tell the ones that are not in it as well It is really, really hard to point out everything to you because there is so much of it. something I can hit this area now I'll move back to the normal the normal speed in front of me Dimension. You can see it moving across here. And this goes down here. It just disappears. Movement. 
Let's try this on. Here, going up. It's like something that keeps forming over there. And something going up there. Just keep looking in the shed areas and behind me. You do see a lot of activity going on around those areas. And to the front of me, there's something that's just gone up there. something moving across there i know there are some smoke but you can see some of the shapes in the smoke as i start to do the threshold and do everything that's when everything really starts to pick up Something's just moved there and going across. You see some anomaly, strange anomaly, come down and go across and stops here and go disappears. It's strange. You will see it. I don't know if it's in this video or if it's in one of the others, but I do know that I'm sure I remember it being when I was doing the uh, the sticks and I was doing the threshold thing. There's been so much I've seen in all the videos. It's hard to keep up with where everything is.
something right there. Just some things you cannot dismiss because it's just completely different to the smoke or anything else that you're seeing. Like this all here moving, you can see is smoke. But when you get the very prominent figure and energy that comes in between it, that is not smoke. something came down there there is so much better to see it in slow motion because you can catch so much more and you really do need to have your eyes going everywhere because there is activity everywhere at times See the energy is moving in the top, but then see the smoke coming here. You can see that it's not windy on that night either, mm. not really. Something moved across my head there. That one that was moving across here and across. I do think that was an anomaly, but I can't be 100% because of the smoke. But just the way it was and it stayed prominent, not like the smoke and everything, I'm not sure. I think it could have been an anomaly and not the smoke.
You'll also notice the little changes in my face and my eyes and things when it's slowed down as well. I get a lot of effects from spirit and from the fay and things like that, but it's not always that easy to see in the normal speed. keep looking towards the fence area you will see this strange anomaly i'm sure it is in this video you'll see it starts to appear and it comes across and you see it I'm sure it's when I'm doing the smudging. There's something that's just gone across that that direction. But if you look along here, you'll see it. It drops, I think, and comes down and starts doing this weird stuff and moving about. It's fascinating. And I do think it's when I was smudging. Energy moving up in front of me. So I walk around the garden and I'm cleansing, and you see a lot of energy start to move around. You can see strange things going on. And I'm sure this anomaly does start and show itself at some point. And I do believe that this is one of the fate. There's been a couple of little ones in this where I believe it's the fate, definitely. I'm sure it's around this this bit. You can see a lot of weird shapes in the smoke. This strange what movements here now these very much don't like these movements you can see the wings they really don't look like to the and that like that's smoke but just some of them you can see a distinct shape and movement in it
I do think it's on this one. I remember seeing it, I think. moving up there and in front of me We'll move it back to normal speed for a couple of minutes. As I said, a lot of energy moving around. That one, yeah. Right, I think that might have been part of it. Right, let's go back. That was the one I got quick. So just putting it slightly back. See how it come over. Come to cross. there you see her there it's coming across and she's over here and it moves over that way put it back again so you can see it so you see it come down and fly across it. I don't know what it is. Very strange looking. And it goes. Obviously, you can't see it at the minute because of the arm. But then you see it go away across the shed bit here. There it is. Very strange.
at first i thought that maybe it was the incense sticks but it was not in zinc with the instant sticks it was too quick And there's like four or five anomalies together moving they started from the top of the screen and came down really really fascinating like i said this is where it starts to get quite act more active because i'm doing the ceremonies and i'm opening and all that sort of stuff See the energies going up in the air and you can see the smoke as well but you can definitely see things moving around in it We'll put to normal speed again for a minute. Something went up in the top of the screen then. There's something moving across the ship. Did you see that? Okay, we've got go slow mode again. I want you to see that one. Right. So let me pause that a minute so you see it. I'm just slow the speed because you also see a orb. So just ever so slightly put it back. And just watch. You'll see the orb come down to the side of the screen here. And then you'll see some other movement going on. up there and the movement across here Lots of movement here and something down here. Not further than that. So we're cleansing across down here and then she'll go up there and she goes through and comes up. There's the orb coming down there. See something moving there and you'll see her come across here and up. She comes out, goes up and then you see one that comes across here and goes up.
So you see the energy there coming down. She goes across there. She goes through. There you go. You can see the wings moving. Let's do that one again. So you see her come across here. We've got the orb that goes down there. We've got the one that goes up here. And she comes across. And she's moving. She's going up. Then you see one forming around this area. She comes in. Down here. Around. She comes out through here. And there she is. You can see the wings moving and the legs. right here see a lot of movement around
It's trying to come down in my leg that way. And across. Over to the left it was. There's a lot going on in this video, guys. A lot. So I'm just going to cross. So moving into the fast forward and over to the pendulum part. Forward over to here. see some movements around in this area so we'll do a bit on this Seeing movement that was going around just that area. So you've got all three of the pots now. So you've seen anomalies flying around. can see lots of little flickers and energies moving about something behind me then so I just move slightly across so I just come down to the side of the screen
something to the top of my head there. There is always a lot of energy around me, and especially the, like the Fae and the spirit energy, most definitely, and the dragons. So now we are moving on to the second video, which is 39 minutes long. Now, this is one of the evening investigations in the Enchanted Magical Garden of the Fey, Willow Valley. And there's a lot of stuff that goes on in here. You see a lot of like flickers and movements to the bottom where the pots are and all of these sort of things. You see a lot of stuff going on. Now, this video was before the fairy shower was put up, but there was a lot more going on since that's gone up. But we will have them in the second series for this episode. So let's put the video on. I'm just going to pause the music a minute so you can hear what I say at the beginning, and then I will mute when I slow down. Just going outside. It's gonna put you out. I'm not gonna be really staying out there, guys, because today's been a bit. Right, so we're just gonna put these out, and we're gonna see what we can get from the fake folk. Let's turn it around so you can see. Right. At the minute, you're looking at the tomatoes, but you are going to be looking at the Fay Garden in a minute. Let's go that way, shall we? Right, so Willow's just getting set up. Going into dark mode. I don't know how long it'll last for, guys, because for some reason my charging point not work, and uh, it's been a pain. But we are going to watch the Fae, and I'm going to call out to them quickly, and the spirits. Call out to us. So at the minute, I'm just getting situated and getting everything where it needs to be going. It will be starting in a minute, guys. I'm calling out to you, my play folk, and to your spirits, and I ask you to come forward in love and in light. I am Wenno, as you know, and I ask you to come forward for your offerings, and to drink my play folk, and there are offerings and tributes on the altars to the spirits. I'm asking you to come forward and to show yourself, and I ask you to speak to you, and to start talking document about you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is thy kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. You can see orbs coming down, obviously. Energies, please come forward. We'd like you to come and show yourself on the screen. Might bring a flashy ball out and you might want to play with that. Let me see if we can see anything. 
Just give me two minutes, guys. I'm going to go in, like I said, be on the um, line bit. I'm just going to get a ball. There was two different anomalies just gone past near the doorway then and something up in the corner of the screen. Something's just come out from the bush. I will say that the uh, the garden is very very active. Another orb. It's just me, guys. So I've got the two balls. I'm going to put them down, guys. If you need to. So I'm obviously placing down the two trigger balls, which are the cat balls that flash, as you can see. Make sure that we can see it perfect on the thing. Like I said, I don't know how long it'll last with like charging everything, but I am trying. So we've got the balls there, brilliant. You can see that. Hello to anybody that's in the chat. Lots of love, light, and blessings. Who have we got? We've got my Drusus. Hello, my angel. Love you lots. And all of her um ch her channels. <laughs> and hello to anybody else that's in the room. There are three people there was watching. A I do appreciate then. you supporting my show please share out and stuff so what i'm going to do is just go in going to get myself something quick to eat and i've got the um bit open on my laptop so i can watch what's going on so we'll just see if we can get any of them to do anything and they always like these this sort of area so we'll see so you can take your offerings and things guys you can do what you want the last time i came out here the little metal bowl that I've got with the bread and the honey in it was on the floor and as you can see there's a water bowl right in front of it if it was a bird or any sort of animal that had got up there they would have knocked all of the pots and everything down so I definitely know it was the fate and two pieces of the bread was missing and one bit was left now if it was a bird all of the pots would have been on the floor even a cat or a squirrel they wouldn't have been able to get up that without climbing and they would have knocked it. Yeah, I definitely so, still think that this first one was, was the Fae, but there has definitely so, been an animal or something that's been going and taking the bowls. Just going to leave them to do their the thing. Bowl down, Hopefully they're playing with balls. quite big and heavy. And um, it's been taking all of the bread and everything. So I can tell the difference between when it's an animal and when it's the Fae. In this one, yes, it was the Fae when the, the, the dish was found near the Fae area. So, so, but the rest of it has been this cute little creature, whatever it is. I haven't called it yet. I opened the door last night and I had some jump down off the ledge, but I didn't see what it was. So I know there's definitely a little furry friend that's visiting and eating some of the food as well, which I've got no problem with. I'm all for the love of nature and animals are part of that. So you see a lot of stuff that's going to happen in this video. Obviously, it's really silent now, so I am going to put a bit of music back on again because nobody wants to sit in silence watching a video. But I will most definitely tell you that like when I see anything anywhere. Something's just come down in front of the screen. I think this music really does set at the scene for this sort of stuff. It's 
Something in the back. Let me slide mode that. We will definitely do a bit of a slower mode on this bit just to see what we get because it's a really good video. Definitely get a movement to the back. A little light flash on the shed then. Don't moving up towards the shed you can see some like misty sort of shape in this area you see it here i think there might be a spirit standing there coming to the bottom here just seeing it move
obviously it is slowed down to 0 0.25 so you're going to see the stuff moving a lot slower Do you see something move across then? That was really cool. Something just come down in front of the screen. That looks like some sort of like light phenomena. So it could have been a spirit or it could have been them. The they do let off light phenomena as well. You don't always see them in full figure and form. But they're most definitely not bugs or anything like that. They're too distinct to be bugs. You can tell what bugs look like. You see a moth earlier. You can see it's a moth and... It was hovering and whatever. You see a very strange light come out. You can see movement over near like the ivy up points as well. You can see all this movement. And you see this anomaly at some point form out around here and it flies up. You'll see. You won't. You won't very, very distinct. Not to mention what's everywhere else. It is important to also remember, guys, that not everybody that watches this video is going to see everything in it. The they are very mystical creatures, and they will only show and allow themselves to be seen by those that they feel are worthy to see them. And people that are obviously most closest to me, and um, they've got to know through me, so... See energies moving near the shed and the uh, ivy fence. You 
definitely movement near the garden area as well where the prey are. I do find that you can see so much more now that the shelter is there as well. The only problem is, is the rain. Um, everything else on the shelter is absolutely amazing, but the roof bit, the front of it's um, looped down a little bit, so I just need to put a couple of little sticks at the front of it as well, just to keep it so it's straight, so it doesn't bow or do anything when the uh, when the rain comes. So I'm going to go out and do that tomorrow if it's not raining or try and do it in between rain if it does stop. Today it's been non-stop and I would like to get another fairy video of, like, well, fairy garden video. You can definitely see movement in the bush and I can see like little silhouettes and see them moving about. keep watching you can see it moving you can see things moving about even in the in these bits in areas you see it you see anomalies and light orbs and everything they are in slower motion but i do find that you will find it a lot more easier to see everything in the slow motion because they are so quick and even the spirits are really quick as well, so sometimes you miss it. They are fascinating to watch and to uh, study. And I've been around them for years, so I've seen so many amazing things to do. And something in the back then, there was like, a light anomaly or something just here we just click that back slightly it's like yeah it did it when it was here a light anomaly or something there Over near the fence bit, my hanging fence. There's some movement at, or some sort of movement and shape here. And there's some light flash there. Just go back slightly. No, not there. Okay see it all form here and then you'll see that orb in a minute you can see a lot of lights there's a flash on the fence and on the uh, shed as well you can definitely see something or someone formed near there you can see it moving around Found this area. It's going across. Can you see that mm. movement? It's going through it. There, look. They're walking about. You see something come from like here and down in a minute. It's coming now. You can see like movement. Can you see that, guys? Over here, it's all moving around this bit. And over here, and over here. see them flying about as well you can see like little anomalies right here it's 
something's here. Can't move him over here as well. No, nope, and all just come from like that area and up. A light, there is a flash. Not all, they all. And another one. There's definitely movement in the fairy area. You can see them moving in between the uh, bushes and stuff. Somebody's moving right in this area. And here. See that? the movement but something's gone up there something just formed here something else going up there definitely movement here Something to come down there again. Just look for light around this area and up. Something that well, yeah, that all. something moving around in that area you see that come down So moving up around in that area. It's a lot of movement. Something flying them over in that area. See it here. There's something here. So flashed up here. 
so it's just come out of there from there it's definitely something here Another all wow orbs and that moving here I do believe that this misty stuff that I'm seeing is the uh, portal some moved and just like appeared and disappeared there like they come in you some sort of form of light or something there something was up there as well over there then so up there there's the light something it's just from there it's gone up there it's like it's going towards the keys moving here so it's forming right there Movement near the bottom of the camera as well. So moving there then. come down that air here there's an anomaly or something just formed there some flash there and there Come across there quickly. Seen a lot of movement. I don't know where that anomaly went that I see a minute ago, though the one that went past the fence. I did go back, but it doesn't seem to have showed it. It's definitely stuff forming in this area keep seeing them coming in and out you've got to remember this is where I've done that ritual so that's where the doorway and that would be see somebody flying around and moving around that area moving across the screen there and up there And over here. There's definitely movement in this area. 
and in these areas we've seen a lot of movement and it's very close to the Fay homes so i can see why so it's moving here so it's just gone up there somewhere else there So it just flew out and up and disappeared. This movement. Something here. This one, oh. movement there this one here and then she's moving within this area this area see little manifestations come on my babies whenever you come out definitely you can see them there movement all down here movement overall in the key area you can see there look and it moved all here and let one going over it there come from like that area so moving across these areas I am doing it slightly after it happening so that we don't miss any of the activity going on definitely lots of light and movement in these areas something just flashed there and we're getting these flashes quite a lot it's like something flashes out well when they're coming out of the doorway or something you know like sometimes when you open the door and it flashes the light in that's what it feels like to me like it is realms and doorways opening and closing it's fascinating to watch you can see definitely a lot of movement to the back in the fairy area and near where the ivy fence is and the shed area like there is a lot of activity you can see a lot of movement around them areas and where the pots are orbs there's an orb just come down near the phone screen I, you know i do these videos to document everything that's strange and unknown even though this garden's dedicated to the fate it is to my spirits and my energies as well so it's good to catch any of them doing anything it's amazing 
something just come up at the side here something else is over this area that's what i'm saying it's just too much to be able to get everything all together it's it's just not going to happen there's too much Is amazing though guys you can see so much movement in that no but oh look at that oh wow oh it's definitely something here and up in this area so it keeps going on here you can see them flying like around this area and going up you've seen it a few times lights keep forming here energies keep coming around these areas and around these areas so it's just come downwards. Sorry, down there. Mm -hmm. Wow. So it even over here. And no one's going to sit there and say, is Spence glitching? Because it's not, because you'll see the movements in that area, but there's no movements anywhere else going on. So you can clearly tell that that's some sort of energy moving about. If it was a glitch, the whole of the area would be glitching, the fencing, everything. But everything else is running perfectly smoothly but you see this odd movements going around the pots around the fences and things at times right there you learn to see it The more that you visit my place, now that it's been open to you, my brothers and sisters, the more you will be able to see them and things like that, because you'll be having that direct communication and connection with them, which gives the energy to be able to open to them. And that's so, it'd be good when you're meditating or just relaxing, think about the garden. And if there's anything you want to ask or you just want to send your prayers and blessings to them, you can. Turn on to normal speed for a few minutes. You can see it moving still. It's amazing, guys. You see it so much more when you're doing it slow down. Do you see the orb just gone up there?
lots and lots of movement. Whoa! Something was there and something went up there. And another orb. movement in here but you don't see it as well in the uh, fast mode normal mode but, but the orb just gone past there it looked like more but then it looked like some sort of like moving energy and then it just flashed out Can't just flashed again from that bush that bush does a lot of that it flashes out stuff and you see things moving about in it little faces and bodies start appearing we're sitting here looking at our video and we're seeing it in my garden but what we could be literally be looking at is actually their realm. So we're seeing the garden, but we're seeing parts of the re their realm coming through. That's what the flashes and stuff could be. But they, they are orbs, them two things you've just seen there. I'm just going to cross the screen and again it is amazing to watch it go forward a little bit something just come across there and up It's really strange because while I'm doing the video a like, lot, when I'm moving the cursor, I'm getting a feeling on where to stop. So they're obviously telling me where bits might be going on. They could be all there. The light over near the shit in, in this bit. There was a little light form there out, and all just come out. There's definitely movement around here and over here. And down here. Someone's just come across here. And up. You see like that the little faces and little forms like showing. Something's moving over there.
lots of like little light flickers and stuff all over the place wow that all Lots of stuff flying about. And there's a light flash from there then. In that area there's a flash. that Ooh. so at the top of the screen then movement all around this area or something just formed it over here it's the light something's formed here it's the light there something just come down here something's just come down there and up down there around here Or to come from the fence area on the cross. So here. Wow, and there. Something was up there as well. Oh, that was an orb, that was quick. Fast forward a bit. Some flash in there. An orb. Light over there, just flicking. Another orb. Something's just flashed over towards this uh, pot over here and under here. Some sort of light. Hmm. 
another light in the back. Something's moving around this area here as well. And here. Oh, an orb. And another orb just gone across the screen that way. Probably Aura or somebody. Oh, see that go across there. Comes across here, look, Ooh. out of nowhere.
so they were the videos guys so some very interesting footage some very interesting stuff going on in the videos you most definitely see some anomalies some light flickers some light flashes you see orbs you can see strange distinctive little figures flying some of them have definitely got wings you can see a lot of stuff going on in here even like shadow energies and stuff you can see a lot of stuff and most definitely around near the shed and the willow and ivy fencing and over near the fairy pots and stuff like that in the garden area there is a lot of activity going on you see a lot of really strange bits obviously i have put and gone through parts of the videos anybody that is new to my channel if you're wanting to watch the full videos you can get them all on the live area on my channel because all of these videos were made live so you can see the full videos by just clicking on the live on my channel to be able to catch it in complete episode and full evidence and everything there instead of me chopping and switching through obviously when you're doing shows like this where you're showing people you kind of have to minimize it it's really hard to as you can tell it's been nearly two hours and 30 minutes because when you're doing stuff like this there is a lot of stuff you get in videos that you're doing weekly or fortnightly which is what i've been doing i've been doing it weekly for my willow's magical adventures and i normally have a lot of content that i do over that week and downloads which is why they, they're so long but when it comes to the other show parts to this series like going to the woodlands and stuff it's not as long so i hope that you are enjoying guys and i hope that it was something that you enjoyed seeing don't forget to like comment it really does help us content creators to get out there and willow loves you very very much and very much appreciates you and so do the energies and the fae and all spirits and things that are out there so i'm going to play the intro out my angels and i hope that you do tune in for the next willow's magical adventures on tuesday where we will be doing part two where one of the videos will be one of the more newer videos that i have done and performed out in the magical and enchanted fairy garden willow's valley so until then my angels lots of love light and blessings have a blessed day and thank you for watching and i'll see you all very very soon for the next episode and don't forget to keep watching all of the amazing channels like myself sister drew sister sister mystical sister christina pups and chasing brains inspectors and mary and all the amazing people that do shows and things please make sure that you check out their channels and support them as well lots of love light and blessings and a merry parting from willow and from everyone and i'll see you all very very soon stay magical stay enchanted my angels Blessed be. Merry meet everyone. Willow here. I would like to thank you for watching my new series. I hope that you are enjoying the adventures, whether they are inside or they are outside. I hope that you tune in for the next episode to see what other adventures I have to take you on. I hope that you have enjoyed the show and thank you for watching. Merry parting and blessed be.